Uh, how about some show feedback, Wombat? Sure. This is from uh, Andy Film, and this has been edited by by you, I guess. Yes, it was very long and rambling. I don't. That's okay. not a nice way to phrase it, but I couldn't come up with it. <laughs> it's now okay, air suitable. So, so Andy has to say, I live in San Diego, and I was making the ten hour drive out of out to Utah to help my son move into his new apartment, having just relocated there after graduating from Berkeley. Congratulations. I'm driving through a town called Menifee in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, I'm listening to the latest CADcast. I've been listening since the launch of the Xbox 360. Yes, I'm that old. And while Wombat is speaking, probably complaining about something, I look over to the car next to me and see a lone BMW with a California Wombat 1 license plate. Click on it. There's a photo there. For for your pleasure, Wombat. So do lots of photos in this week's episode. I'm trying to That's get you cool. involved. Yeah, it's a... Uh, That's cool. Let me see what kind of car that was. I didn't actually take a good look. Was that like a 325 or a 330? It's a 335. It's a diesel. D? So fuck it. <laughs> nice. That's very nice. Cool. Good job. Maybe he's a Wombat. Mm-hmm. Hopefully he's a Wombat fan. That would be amazing. He should buy me a BMW too. Right. Would you take a diesel or no? I would not care. Mm. Okay. Yep. So, uh, what else we got here? I went to see Aladdin, the Broadway musical. The game oh, is nice. Cincinnati. Yeah. So uh, that's what my daughter's doing in theater camp this summer. She's being in a Broadway musical. No, she's going to no, Cincinnati she's, to watch. She's Aladdin. gonna. She's doing Aladdin. That's what they're doing. Okay. Have either of you seen the musical Aladdin before? I've seen the movie. Uh, no, but my daughter saw has actually seen it on Broadway too. Okay. I've seen the movie four hundred times. Does that count? It it counts for seeing the movie. It's slightly like it's definitely based upon the movie, but it's mm-hmm. slightly different. Like okay. Aladdin has friends instead of a monkey. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, no, it was fun. It was good. Uh, Emmeline loved it, of course. That's the one with the mermaid, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, no, I mean, I didn't really know that this existed because you, all you really hear about is like Lion King and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, and this, I've seen Lion King as well. And obviously like the costumes don't quite live up to, to Lion King. Um, but like the never had a friend like me that that's a pretty great uh, Broadway song. That's awesome. Because they're doing magic show or magic tricks and everything oh, magic, during the cool. whole thing. And we had balcony wow, wow. seats. Ever been in those? I have. No. So did you did you look behind you the whole time to make sure John Wilkes Booth wasn't there? Uh, no. Did you heckle everyone like old Muppets? Yes. Okay. That <laughs> did you get put in those seats because you were too tall to fit in your actual seats, and so the usher had to move you to those seats? Is that how you sit there? Yeah. That's awesome. It happened once. I actually like I you know those theaters are so old, and I can't, I can't remember if I was with my parents or or what. It must have been with my parents. No, it couldn't have been. It was with just Mrs. Chibi. But whatever, we were in like the last row of the orchestra, and I went to sit down. And I was like, no, I just can't. There's no way for me to sit in this chair. Like I just the seats are narrow and there's no legroom. So they move, and those seats weren't particular. The, the balcony seats weren't particularly great, I didn't think, because like you're at this weird angle. It's so. it's enjoyable. Sure, it was better than having to eat my knees. It it was pretty good for having Emmeline with us because then I well I, she sat in my lap the entire time and I had to hold on to her that way she didn't fall over the <laughs> the balcony. Right. But she could move and not. But bother she could actually like talk to us and stuff without bothering people. Yeah, Mrs. TB was going to take Ty to see Lion King this weekend when I leave for E3, you know, to like as like a distraction ploy. Mm-hmm. Um, but the prices, I mean, oh my god. It's like yeah. 350 like minimum to No, to see the Lion it's King ridiculous. still? Ridiculous. It can't be that much. It's ridiculous. Sabrina saw School of Rock right. uh, 2 weeks ago. <laughs> That's what they're going to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mrs. Chiefy like, looked Sabrina, through all the prices and she's like, uh, how about School of Rock? I'm like, yeah, that sounds good. You know what? Sabrina loved it. Yeah, I'm sure. So, I'll, I'll tell Ty and I'll be extra psyched. 
And I would say at this point, she may have seen more Broadway shows than I have. I don't know how she's pulled it off in her nine years. Yeah. And I used to literally work on Broadway and see shows like <laughs> yeah. every weekend. Yeah. That's cool. So. It's good. It's yeah. probably just cheaper to fly to Cincinnati to watch them here. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Oh, it's, yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And like Jeez. almost all the shows are that expensive. The, you know, it's even the ones that you wouldn't, th- even Aladdin, I think was ridiculous. I looked at Aladdin too. It was, it was My almost, advice yeah. is send your child to theater camp where they sent, take them to a one Broadway show a summer. Uh-huh. Because then you're only spending the price of a small car. <laughs> and then, but, but, the but kids you away could pretend that, but then you could pretend that the Broadway show was free. <laughs> <laughs> and that your kid learned something. Exactly. A valuable skill. Mm. All right. 